It's one thing to create a catchy melody or an addictive beat, but if these elements aren't structured, then you're not gonna have that lasting impact on your listener. In this video, I'm gonna teach you the fundamentals of form that will help you organize your music to get massive lasting impact. Let's get into the video. Hey everyone, this is Rex from the Maze Music Academy, where I help musicians just like you level up your music making so that you can achieve success in your music career. Welcome to part six of my series on the five essential elements of music, where we're gonna talk about the fifth and final element of music, which is form. Now, if you haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, I recommend that you hit the pause button and go check those out before you continue. And you can find links to all those videos in the description below. So in the last video, I mentioned how both rhythm and form deal with time in a piece of music. And whereas rhythm is more the local level or the micro level uh, rhythmic events that happen, the time events that happen, form is more the global or the macro level events that happen in a piece of music that actually structure the entire piece. Now form is a really important element of music because it creates the structure uh, for which everything else fits into. All the other elements have to fit into that form. And it's kind of like when you design a car. You have all the different pieces, you have the, the elements of the body, the different panels, you have the interior, the seats, and the dashboard. You have the mechanical components with the engine and the suspension, all that kind of stuff. Those are like all the individual rhythms and harmonies and sounds and melodies that make up the car, but it's not really a car until you put it into that form. The form is like the frame that all those pieces fit together on. And the cool thing is that, you know, if you think about most cars, they, they like, might look completely different, but most of them are built on the same basic structure, the same basic frame. And it's no different in music. A lot of pieces of music are actually built on the same basic structures, and you can add a lot of unique elements into that structure to make it kind of customized to whatever you want to build. Now, formal structure has been one of those things that's been standardized in music for a long, long time. I mean, going back way, basically, to the dawn of music. Um, and, you know, when you think about classical music forms, you have things like the symphony, which is a big form that's used in, by tons of composers throughout history uh, to create a similar structure of movements. And those movements have certain structures within them that help add some consistency to, to the piece of music. And then we see that in pop styles as well, where you have sort of songs that are built off choruses and verses, where the chorus is sort of where the hook of the song usually is, where the main lyric or the title of the song is, that's, and that usually is repeated every time that chorus comes back to the, to the piece of music. And then you have the verses, which is where you're kind of telling the story, or you just have different lyrics every time to help add interest. And those might be a little bit more spoken-like, and those change every time they repeat. And there's all kinds of other different sections of a song or different sections of a piece that you can play around with. But the basic idea there is that you have certain elements that are, are repeated and structured so that you bring the listener back to it so that they, they hear it over and over again and then they can remember different parts of your music, makes your music more memorable and have that lasting impact. Now there's other kinds of music, um, specifically like scoring for film and video games, where you don't really have that rigid structure like you have in a pop song or a classical piece of music. And that's because all your timings and everything are based off of what's happening on the screen. And especially in video game music where things happen, you know, kind of randomly because you don't really know what the user is doing, you create these little narrative structures that sort of follow the action of what's happening. And that's kind of a fun way to, you know, you kind of sync up the video with your music to create a unique narrative structure that follows whatever story is being told. Now, regardless of whether it's a more structured form or a more narrative form, really what the form or the structure is doing is getting you from point A to point B. You're basically creating a beginning, a middle, and an end to your music. And you know that's really important because every piece of music, it happens over time. It's just like reading a book. It's You want to kind of follow along and have a story. You want to have peaks and valleys, uh, conflict and resolution, and it's no different when you use form. You're trying to create those different sections to be able to guide the listener along so that they maintain interest and you know have that sort of uh, adventure as they listen to your piece of music. And I've found that one of the best ways to understand form and study form in music is actually to start with you know, books and movies and video games and kind of understand the structure of the stories in those mediums because you know, when you think about your favorite movie, 
you know, there's usually some sort of exposition at the beginning, some intro that introduces everything. That's maybe where you introduce all your melodies and your main, you know, your main rhythmic ideas and things like that. And then you have sort of a journey where things happen and things get fragmented and maybe you break up those melodies or those rhythms and you start using them in different ways. And at some point, you should have some kind of climax. And even in a pop song, you would have some kind of big climax at some point to kind of bring the point home, um, which might be your final chorus or something like that, where you really kind of bring in all your main elements, your main melodies, your main themes, and you kind of highlight them in the most dramatic way possible. And then usually you end by resolving it and kind of winding down at the very end. Um, that can be as, as simple as a fade out in a pop song, but it could be, you know, in a movie score, it could be just kind of winding down the energy by breaking it down and then you kind of end on the whatever the final note of that piece is. Um, so again, it's all about that journey, about mapping out that climax. And also again, repetition is really important in music because that helps make it more memorable and people can identify with that and they associate it with you know whatever lyric you're singing or whatever character or theme you're trying to convey from the film or the video game and that's really all you need to know about form it's extremely important that it gives structure to all the other elements of music um, that are more localized in your piece and the form just gives it that global structure that kind of packages it so that it's very easily consumable for the listener. It has repetition so that they can remember it and it takes them on a journey from beginning to end from point A to point B with some kind of intro, climax, and resolution so that they can you know, feel like they've been on this adventure with you through your piece of music. So before we get on to the final video of this series, I wanna know what piece of music, whether it was a pop song or a classical piece, or maybe a film score or video game score, that really took you on a journey. And what about that journey did you like? Was it the climax? Was it just the journey itself? What about it really kinda of captured you and gave you that structure to keep listening? So tell me all about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching. If you're getting value out of this series, smash that like button and consider subscribing for more content just like this. In the next video, we're gonna take all five of these essential elements and kinda of bring the point home and see how we can use them together to really level up your music making. So I'll see you in the next video.